All right. So the Washington Capitals win the Stanley Cup in this universe again. Okay. And the, the Calgary Wranglers. Uh, I'm going to need to see what's up with this Capitals team because there is no way. Oh, okay. So Calgary is going to get the first overall pick. LA falls from one to three. Oof. Okay, man. So first off season where it's like, yeah, you're just coming off not being just a rebuilding team. You just don't suck completely. So let's see what's up here. Let's see what we have to deal with. Is there any retirement for the Blackhawks? There is no one. So Patrick Kane is still back. There's Jonathan Quick, retired Hall of Famer. That's one guy right there. So, David, uh, okay, who cares? Uh, uh, Tyler Myers as a as a scout. Ugh. Okay, so let's check the awards. Uh, okay, so who did they come up? At? Buffalo won the President's Trophy. Uh, so the Canucks were the team that they defeated. Okay, so Art Ross goes to PD. Uh, Hart goes to Pedersen as well. McAvoy Norris, Lady Bing Kucherov, Andrew Kristal wins the Calder. Okay. TJ Oshie wins Con Smythe. Uh, Vesna goes to Sorokin. William Jennings goes to Sorokin. Bill Masterson goes to... Okay, so our coach, head coach, Hextall, won the Jack Adams. Well-deserved, because, because our team was supposed to still be a rebuilding team, and we were able to make the playoffs in a very tough central. Selkie goes to Barkov. Ted Lindsay goes to Pedersen. Okay. Um, Rocket goes to Matthews with 69 goals. There you have it. That's it for the awards. That's it for the awards. Let's get right into the draft. This is the Gavin McKenna draft. So let's see what we have. Okay. Uh, Calgary's definitely gonna go and get and get Gavin McKenna like there's no debate let's see what we can do in in these draft draft day trades okay we have a lot of guys who are on expiring deals isn't there okay so yeah, I mean, Nick Foligno, I mean, there's really no value for any of these guys, isn't there? Mark Giordano, there probably is, okay? Eh, I don't know if that's what I want. I don't know if that's what I want. Uh, Bobrovsky, eh, he's like, he's like 40 at this point. So I don't know if that's what I want as, uh, as assets. So what we could do, we could try maybe trade up maybe trade up okay carolina i don't know what's with them in the sim like normally you're i don't know man i i don't know what's up with them because they they have a very good team they have a very good team uh we have a lot of picks so hey We can go ahead and do whatever. You're right. So, third. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's whatever. But G Giordano, we could probably just trade him and get some assets back. Uh, Seth Jones is a guy I would love to see if we can get rid of. Just do my due diligence without fleecing a team either, without fleecing anybody. 
But hey, he he is a he, he is pretty high up there in overall. So hey, it's an, it's not supposed to be anything anything bad either. Uh, twenty first pick. Yeah, uh, for most most of the time, that's how it's gonna be, and and we we can use that cap to have a good. Uh, uh, to have the cap floor be respected, you know? So why not? Why, why the hell not? So here we go. Gary McKenna. He is 84 overall. Medium franchise. Uh, there you have it. There you have it, Calgary. You got your franchise player. Uh, he should be... He's Connor Bedard's cousin. As well. And they're in the same conference. So, there you go. The Ducks get another young guy in Vigo Bjork. There you have it. Uh, LA, Ryan Rubrik. Alright, Nashville gets... Uh, okay, whoever the hell that guy is. Again, the auto-generated player. Joe Iginla goes to the Stars. Okay. Yep, uh, Noah Kosick goes to the Penguins, so they're out there with, with their team building. We have the 18 pick. We 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 seem to have a guy here. We seem to have a medium elite. Ralph Lotz, he's a gem. I'm gonna go after him. I'm gonna go after him. Low elite, not bad, not bad, not bad. A uh, 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 low elite. Hey, uh, these guys grow. Let us go ahead and see what's up with the elites here. All right. Medium 70. Okay. Let's see again. Let's take a hit. Take a shot right there. Eh, whatever. I'm going to assume the rest of the draft because we've drafted a lot of guys. And the AI can take care of it. We have a lot of picks, bro. Like... But here we go. Here, here we freaking go, man. So, off season. Let's go ahead and uh, re-sign those scouts. Because why not? You know, they've done the job for me. Here we go. Hmm. George Renault. And yeah. Here we freaking go. So Kevin Korchinski, he's gonna have a very interesting situation here this offseason. Uh I've been really holding up and seeing if he, if anything is gonna go on with him. Uh, you can go. Uh but yeah. Let's go ahead and check. Jason Dickinson, you can go. Uh, Entwistle, I'm not going to qualify you. Foligno, thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, though. But you're 38. Your time is done. Cole Eiserman, you're going to get signed and you're going to play in the AHL. Same for you, Emil Hemming. You can come into the AHL. Uh, Moroz, Alexander Zetterberg, you're gonna get signed too. Uh, Vadim Moroz, I guess you can get qualified and signed like for like three years or something. Yeah. Uh, Tepley, you can, you can go. Okay, signings for goalies. Go. Emil Vinny, you're playing in the AHL. You can be an AHL goalie. You can go and be an AHL goalie for two more years. Why not? And, uh, yeah. Now, whoever is unsigned. Let's go ahead to the unsigned here. Nobody else. Nobody else. Hmm. Okay, so what's left here? We're just gonna sim a day and only have Korchinski left as work. 
All right, because he's a very special situation. He wants more than Bedard, and Bedard is our franchise player. Korczynski, he's been producing like a 60-point defenseman in the past few years, 50-60. He just he, he just had his a career year. So his price only went up. His price only went up. So yeah. Okay, so for for you, first off, we're gonna qualify. Just to have you secured, he wants three years for eight mil. Look, I don't know if I can do that, bro. <sighs> Having two ten million dollar defensemen is gonna suck. Oh my god. Okay. What's the buyout penalty? Oh my god. That is the buyout penalty. That is the buyout penalty. Oh my god. Someone save us. Someone save us from this. I'm gonna have to just go ahead. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so what I wanna do, I wanna check how our forward core is looking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I think we're looking good here. We're looking good as a group of forwards. Defensemen, what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need a five and a six. We need to get rid of White Kaiser. We need to go ahead and get rid of White Kaiser. Like, that's what we need to do. We just need to do that. Okay, we need to get rid of White Kaiser and get a better a right handed guy for Ethan Del Mastro. This is gonna have to be our long our, our list. Okay, so Korczynski, we're gonna wait wait out that situation because it, it is not looking like anything. It, it is not looking like we're gonna come to a deal anytime soon. But first, what we're gonna do with the future contracts, anybody we're gonna need to sign in the future. Okay, what we could do, we can get it done now. They they don't want it done now. Okay. Ryan Green. You're gonna have some extra security here. Okay. There you go. Nick Lardis, same for you too. Extra security. Philip Bruce, I don't care about you. Uh McCartney, I don't care about you. Sam Rinzel. There you go. That's for you too. Get these guys locked up early. Just in case they just do anything especially in the ahl where they could very well be destroying the league okay here we go i think that works i think that works you can actually get signed okay so here we go Okay. Now I'm just going to have to see here player search. Because free agency isn't always the best place to get some guys. But if anything, I'm going to see I'm going to see here, right? If there's a right D. Okay. A young right D who's not too expensive either. Okay. Nicholas Jensen, he's 35. We can't really afford to go that way. Connor Murphy, and uh, he's regressing. Okay.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the best option is definitely gonna have to be. It's definitely gonna have to be. Okay. Here we go. Max twenty-seven. Yeah. About that. Uh, defense. And in this right. Uh Okay. Something like 27 28. It, it would work. 25 to 28. That could work. Okay? So search. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so let's see what is at our disposal. Sort by overall. Uh, there's, of course, all these defensemen like Cal McCarr. Let's go ahead. And hopefully it's a guy like, okay, so he works. Okay, Dante Fabro, he doesn't have a lot of value. So we're not going to have to give up a lot for him either. Right. So let's just go ahead and make a trade we can go ahead i mean we can even go and and trade for him in like and, and trade him in like two years okay so what we're gonna do first things first what white kaiser he's gonna be part of the trade he's 100 percent gonna be part of the trade but that's definitely not gonna be enough right that's def definitely not gonna be enough so a third round pick here let's see how far off we are we're not okay from the Flyers, on behalf of the Flyers organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. Yeah, that's a trade that had to be done. And yeah, we actually have a right hand third pair guy. So we really have nothing. Yeah, we actually do. We have to sign a goalie. So how much cap do we have? 19. Okay, so... Yeah, we could use a goalie. 125, Demko. Vitek, Vanacek. Yeah, we don't need to sign someone extremely expensive either. Vanacek, how good were you in last year? 895, no thanks. Uh, 903, thanks. Nico Dawes, Patrick Demko. Because Do Dostal, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking up here. 903, cool, not bad. Let's just go and sign you for like... I think that works, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I think that works. Let's go ahead. And see if you sign. And if there's anybody else we need to... If, if there's more players we need to bring back, then we're going to see. Okay. So... How many contracts do we have? Ah, 46. Not bad. Uh, Crosby's in free agency. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing, but hey. All power to you. All power to you. Uh, I, I guess Unger Sorum could be a guy that we just signed into the AHL, maybe. I, I really don't care. But we have a lot of guys already. Hold up. Are we good? Yeah, it's it, it's another lag from the software too. Okay. We're good now. So, I'm just going to sim for a bit. Gus of Sim is going to be our other goalie. Good. Uh, Philip Roos. I mean, a sixth round pick. Nah. We're good. Zach Whitecloud. 
How good are you? Reminder, also, it's not like we have... Eh, I think we already found our guy, man. Yeah. Dante Fabro, Fabro is already our guy. Vegas, I already told you. I, I already told you, Vegas. I already told you. I already traded assets for another third pair guy. I, I really don't need Zach Whitecloud. No thanks on Will Borgen either, bro. We have... Well enough. Let's see what's up with the price. For Korchinski. Okay, because... We need to check here. Uh, you know... I think it would be beneficial. It might be beneficial if we go... It might not. It, it really might not. His price is dropping. We're going to keep simming. We're going to keep simming. Kind of plan. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, we're going to have the compensation to to match any offer sheet. If there's any offer sheet that comes in, right? So, yeah. Let's go ahead. And and sign and sign him. Uh, okay. So he's not on the lineup for now, but it, it's gonna be it, it, it's gonna be fine, man. It's gonna be fine. Uh, L. J. Mooney. Uh, I think we can. Eh. Number eight. Yeah. Why not? A nice number eight for, for for speedy forward totally works it totally works so uh yeah we're gonna go without captain still with no captain honestly uh, we could make kane captain yeah uh let's do that patrick kane captain okay ivan demidov hmm okay anybody else nope Really nothing. Really nothing. Besides what I'm missing here, right? Uh, we're missing Korczynski, but he is gonna be... He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. Like... He, 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 he definitely should be fine, right? Like, his price has probably dropped like crazy right now, too. But hey. Here we go. Here we go. So, I'm going to do the lines later. I'm going to do the lines uh, after the uh, after the end of the episode. Like, I'm not going to do that on camera. But hopefully, by the end of it, we can we can take care of that Korchinski's problem, right? So, okay, four point eight. Thing is, his long term price keeps. Yeah, you know what. Give him that contract and he signs. Okay? Give him that contract. Okay? A approve it deal. Cool? Anything? Good. Okay. Kevin Korczynski is back. You love to see it. You love to freaking see it. Alright? So, we're going to end the video here. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. Comment down below your thoughts. And uh, yeah. I am going to see you guys in the next one.